Greetings and welcome back to Production Line. I'm Catherine of Sky, and last time we took over Horn Manufacture. So this time I think we're starting on seats. Um, and we need um, three seat fitting um, assembly thingies. So let's go ahead and merge our conveyors here uh, and figure out where we want to go. Hmm. I'm thinking maybe we should go. God, this is kind of hard to figure out because we want to get stuff done. This is one of our last things though. We are not having any other making zones other than the seats. So maybe we should just kind of go from, from the back. Let's go from the back then. Let's get our export slots in and I'll just have, I th how many do we need of these? Two? All right, that's fine. Okay. And before that comes the quality check. And looks like we need three of these. Okay. Um, do it like this. Quality check like this. And... Okay, cool. I'm hoping that I can have this one go that direction and that direction. Yeah, okay, cool. So it's showing it can go both sides. I'm hoping it can. Anyway, let's see. Go this way, please. And connect. This one goes there and connect. Good, good, good. All right, and before that comes the electronics. So let's look at our electronics thingy. And just make sure we have all of our items accounted for. Oh my gosh, there's all kinds of Bluetooth phone supports and all kinds of things. And according to my calculations, with all this stuff, it should take um, 6.3 seconds. So therefore we do need two electronics um, thingies. So electronics need two. I think we have to put them like that far. Let's see. Conveyor. Yes. that and like this and like that. Perfect. That's what we want. Just make sure the conveyor belts are all correct. Excellent. So, um, these have any upgrades? Nope. Let's get all of our upgrades for the electronics. Get all the stuffs. Okay. Bluetooth support, music. We gotta have music. And sat nav can be useful if you don't know how to read a map. Um, of course, it can be useful if you don't have anybody reading a map for you, I should say, because reading a map while driving is highly unadvisable. Um, you might run into things. All right, so aircon. So these say that they're four seconds long, but uh, we're going to need two of them anyway. Because, yeah, because there's an upgrade. We have climate control and pollen filters, which is nice. Okay, which makes it 5.2 seconds. Climate control and pollen filter. There we go. Let's just get these organized. There we are. Excellent. Now, windscreens. Okay, those cost eight seconds. Are there any upgrades? Yes, there are. So we're gonna need three of these machines. I'm going to put them here-ish. I'm going to snake this around this away. Or I could have put them this way, I suppose. Hmm. That is another thought. I'll leave this area in case there is any manufacturing for the electronics and stuff like that. Okay, windscreen, two and three. There we go. All right, so these are gonna go like this. Connect, connect, there we are. Okay, so now we gotta get seats going. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take this conveyor this way. Like that. Make seats. 
So, no, we want to get fit seats. And seat fitting. Did I say we need three? Yes, three. Okay. Actually, look how that works. That's kind of snazzy. Sit seats, fit seats. Let's shove them all in. Um. Oh, actually, we only need two. Oh, that's very sneaky. Okay. Fit seats. I forgot to look at um, the final amount. And actually, what was this? Windscreens. We need actually two of those if we get full robots. I forgot. I was looking at the wrong thing. Um, I had to readjust my um, spreadsheet because... Uh, Some of the the, um, the manufacturing places do not actually have upgrades yet, so I had to kind of look at a different square, and now it's kind of throwing me off just slightly. Okay, windscreen, and then seats. Right, are only two. Yes. Okay, seats. Nope. Fit seats, not make seats. Fit them. There we go. Boom. There we are. Now, so aircon, we got all of those. The aircons, we cannot get it below. No, okay, we can't get it to four. That's just fine. So let's get our windscreen, get automatic wipers, and we will need, if we get robots one, this will work. 7.8 seconds, perfect. Okay. Buy extra robots, buy it wipers. Good. This one, yep. Okay, um, now seats. Let's see what upgrades we have here. Wow, heated, leather interior, powered, lots of things going on here. Wow, driver airbags, um, heaters, yes, passenger airbags. And for seats, we are going to need all the robots we can handle. So basically, we buy every upgrade for the seats. There we go. Okay. I have not actually gone through yet um, and changed my spreadsheet. So some of these values I'm hoping are not off. But I know that some of the crafting times have changed according to the patch notes in 1.05. Uh, so I will do that between episodes. Uh, but until then, we have stuff. Things are working. Okay, so that's the seats. So that basically, I think we're done. We just need to get the seats being made. Uh, and other than that, I think we're good. So this can actually go here. Um, conveyor. There we are. <clears throat> So seat making, let's see about that. So we need six assemblers. That's an awful lot of assemblers. <clears throat> we do have an extra import slot here. Oh, this could be very convenient. We could divert this one, uh, this stuff to this, uh, this uh, import slot. So we have room to put our six seat assembler thingies make seats and let's go ahead and put our stockpile here that's a really nice place for it like that we'll have this conveyor no not that conveyor this one resource conveyor there we go like that all right make seats um green needs to turn around okay so here we go Just want to put it one away. Make seats. Two, three, five, and six. Hmm. It doesn't quite work the way I want it to, does it? We could do threes instead. That might be easier.
I'm just looking how, how this one will connect. Let's do threes instead. Okay, seats. Let's go. Make seats, make seats. And we need to remove this conveyor from here. That is not the way we want this to go. Are there any other conveyor slots? There are not. So this one is going to have to feed this entire area. Um, and this one, let's get the importer put in and get our conveyors going out uh, to here. This is where this is going to connect. There we go. Perfect. Now, okay, so this is going to be the outs, the incoming slot. Maybe. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Okay, conveyor here, here, here. Uh, and this is the going to the thing, thing. There we go. Okay, so this is asking for seats. Okay, good. Alrighty, so this thing, I think we're one square too short, alas. Okay. Okay, there we are. And let's move this conveyor over because now it's a little bit on the annoying side. This one's got to move to the left and get rid of these guys. Okay, so there we go. We have stuff now. But this also needs to supply these guys. So let's go ahead and connect those up as well. It's not really that much, thankfully. Good. Okay, there we are. Whew. All right, so let's see what we've got. Do they need servos? Oh, for goodness sake. Yeah, they need airbags and servos. Meow. That is very unmeowy. I have to say, very, very unmeowy. Uh, but that's okay. We're gonna get it sorted. Let's just see if these amounts ever go down. They might one day. <laughs> Why is it ordering seats? No, don't order seats. Oh, for goodness sake. I guess these don't have enough materials yet to keep on producing that. Not much stuff. Okay, we're getting cars through. Woohoo. This is good. This is great, maybe. New vehicle design. Um, we're going to call this the all-in. Uh, and then we're going to adjust the price to be 50% exactly. So doing good. Got all of these nice features and stuffs on them. Okay. I hope this is ish. Okay. They look like they're getting in line. All right. Except this one sometimes chooses weird slots. But, oh, there's another thing I could actually do. Is I could move them. And I could just have a third export slot. Even though they seem to be going out relatively well. So let's look at the rest of our factory. Do we have any problems? We have enough electricity to last for days. I can probably delete some of these guys. That should be, yeah, there we go. That's about right. So as not to spend too much money on um, having people around. Okay, no export room. How are we doing over here? No research. Yes, we know about that part. Uh, wow, what are those looking things? Oh, those are axles. Oh, they look cool. I like them. Why do they look different than these axles over here? interesting. It looks like the shadowing is possibly different. Funky. Anyway, 
All uh, right, so just look around a bit and see. Oh, and then we're gonna have blinky power. I'm gonna add another power station. Looks like I deleted one too many. Power, power. There we go. Okay, no export room. Okay, and here's all our cars going along the line. This is good. Oh yes, and there's a new graph we can look at. Let's look at this graph. Dear. Looks like our power has gone even lower. That's an interesting effect. Power plant. Go ahead. More power. More power. Alright. So, we have income. Oh, here is the graph. It's up there, I think. Okay. Here it is. Whoa. Uh, it's not supposed to do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's funky. I don't think it's supposed to do that. Anyway. <laughs> Um, yeah, so running is the yellow part. That's where we want to be at all time, pretty much. Uh, the pink reddish color is, um, <laughs> oh, wow. I pressed F12 to get rid of, to take a screenshot and it left. Okay. Let's see if we do, we can repeat this bug here. Ah, no, it didn't happen. Okay. Anyway, so we have no route for resources is the pink part. So it looks like we're, we need to shuffle around some of the importer slots or something like that. Now waiting for line is basically cars that are in front are taking too long, but we know we have too many cars on the assembly line because some of the um, slots process faster than others. So waiting for resources. No root for resources. Wait a second. That's not the same as waiting for resources, is it? What the heck? Wow, 172 steel? Whoa. Dang, that's huge. So what about this one? This one is not stressed at all. So I'm thinking maybe let's um let's connect this guy here. And uh, somehow I have this interesting thought that that was what I did before, maybe? I don't know. Um, when I had to redo the factory slightly. Okay, this is looking like, yeah, a lot of stuff coming through. No export room. Okay. Let's see if that goes down at all. Wow, now they're sharing this enormous boatload of stuff. Um, no route to stockpile. Now, see, that that's an interesting thing because we do actually have a route to stockpile always so that's a very strange message to get but it looks like other other than get, having all of this steel needing to come in and maybe it will slow down like maybe this is gonna slow down a little bit no still tons hmm well I think this factory needs more uh, import slots or or something because it really doesn't uh, I think next time we start a new factory uh, I'm going to make very careful care to put as many import slots as we can handle because I like import slots and there's no reason to have this kind of thing I mean if this happened in a real business you'd be making another entrance for trucks to deliver stuff or, or whatever Okay, cool. But overall, we're doing okay, except for this import slot is also overloaded here. This one is like another steel never going down thing. And I think, what about this one? Is this okay? Okay, if I transfer some of this load to the other thing, we should be better. Let's get our resource conveyor going this way. Uh, and <gasps> no. Aw. Shoot. Well. Oh wait, this can actually intersect with this, I think. No, it can't.
Well, that's the outside, and this is... Something's gone very wrong here. Yeah, this one is coming in this other line, and I'd have to have it there. Yeah, there's not enough room. Shoot. Well, that's not ideal, is it? It's very un unpleasant. Yeah, we can't have this going. Hmm. Okay, can I get... This one is not overutilized. So I'm thinking this can be... Do we have a route to help out these guys? Probably not. This one is already helping out these guys a little bit. This has got all those valves coming in. The valves take an awful lot of steel. They take three steel each. That seems like a lot. You would think that a valve would be smaller, like maybe a half a steel each or something. All right. Okay, well, looks like we are doing pretty well except for these import problems. And other than rearranging the entire factory again, um, I'm not quite sure what, what we can do. I mean, there are these five import slots here, but I'm almost ready to start a new factory. I don't know how you guys feel about that. Um, I was thinking about doing one that um, has two different car lines, maybe like a cheap, cheaper end one and a higher end one um, in a large factory scene, because obviously we're missing some pieces here. Uh, and I think the large one, I'm not sure, the large map may be even bigger than this and not just the whole whole thing. So anyway, let me know what you think. Do you want to start a new factory? Do you want me to rearrange this one better? Um, let me know where, where you want to head with this and I will do my best to make it so. So thank you so very much for joining me. I'm Catherine of Sky. Take care of yourselves and each other. I'll see you next time.